Here's a video demonstration about the Salesforce integration with validated IDs electronic signatures. At your Salesforce dashboard, you'll find six different tabs in the administration panel. Your main page will be the home section, where you'll get the most relevant reports quickly. There is information about usage in terms of types of digital signatures or the number of documents sent and their status. Users can customize this section and combine it, also with business reports about leads and opportunities if they want. The Vid Signer Setup tab enables the connection between Salesforce and the Validated IDs Electronic Signature Services. You register here your Validated IDs credentials and endpoints to connect both environments. At Vid Signer Tablets, there's the information related to your enrolled devices. It gathers all the data about the tablets that are using biometric signatures. And here's where you can add a new device by clicking on the Add Tablet button. The tab Vid Signer Users displays all the internal staff that will be using the electronic signatures and sending documents to sign to their clients. You can set and modify their permissions and assign them your enrolled tablets. You can add new users by clicking on the Add User button and assign them the type of electronic signature that they're going to use. This works for every Salesforce user that has an account. At Vid Signer Templates, users can manage their document templates, add new ones, or modify the existence. It is possible to upload new PDFs and define the information required, activate or deactivate the templates, as well as delete them if they're no longer necessary. The last tab is Document KPIs. It's where users will be able to see detailed reports regarding the electronic signature processes. It's possible to use different models of reports depending on your needs. Now let's focus on how to send a document that requires a signature from Salesforce. Here is where the magic happens. For this demo, we're going to show how to sign remotely from our smartphone and how to sign in a face-to-face -face scenario on the sales representative tablet. We have this lead, Cristina Galliano, that has to sign the GDPR remotely. She rejected the signature the first time we sent it, so now this document appears as pending. We select the document again and click on Email plus SMS. As you can see, we need to confirm a valid email and a mobile number so that the signer can verify her identity during the signing process. By confirming, the status of this document on Salesforce adds a new phase from rejected to pending. Christina receives the document that she has to sign and clicks on the link to open it. Both the logo and brand colors of this email can be customized. For this document, Christina has to decide if she wishes to receive commercial communications. She agrees and gets the full document with this choice included. She's willing to sign and gets a one-time password on her smartphone for confirming her identity. Once the code is placed, she can now sign the document. When she finishes the signature, she concludes the process and gets a new email with her signed agreement as an attached copy. Back to Salesforce, we can now check that the status of our document has been updated, access to it, and see that Christina's signature has been included. Now we're going to see how it works if our sales rep is in another scenario face-to-face. -face. George is another lead that is also pending to sign the GDPR compliance. We now want this document to be ready to sign on our tablet. We select the device that the sales rep has with her and if she wants to receive a signed copy as well. If we take a look at this lead information, we can now check that he has a document pending to sign. The sales rep can refresh her tablet and see that the document is already uploaded, show it to her clients and help him to sign. George has now accepted commercial communications and is reviewing the agreement. Since everything is clear, he clicks on the Sign button, draws his signature, and accepts it. If we refresh our dashboard on Salesforce, the status of the document has been updated and we can preview it or download it as we already saw in our first example. This is an example of signing a GDPR document, but it can be applied to sales agreements, invoices, and any other documentation that you already use at Salesforce. Contact us if you'd like to receive more information. Thank you.